Today's episode of The Mom Game is brought to you by our friends at Gateway Buick GMC at LBJ and Jupiter. I know that buying a car can be stressful, but not at Gateway because their slogan is Gateway's got it. And just what does that mean? Well, it means Gateway's got a wide selection of new Buicks, GMCs, and GM certified used vehicles, all competitively priced. Gateway's got it. In these busy times, you want a car dealer who makes things easy and convenient. Well, guess what? Gateway's got it. When you log on to gatewaybuickgmc.com, look for the shop, click, drive button. This allows you to shop from the comfort of your home, and who doesn't want that? In fact, it's as easy as one, two, three. One, select your vehicle. Two, create your offer. Three, Schedule your delivery. And on top of all this, Gateway Buick GMC offers complimentary car washes for life. So when you want a dealer who has it all, Gateway's got it. You can find them online at gatewaybuickgmc.com or shop in person at LBJ and Jupiter. GMC, we are professional grade. Experience the new Buick. to episode one, two, four of The Mom Game. I'm Emily Jones. She is Julie Dobbs. We are excited to be with you today. So (laughs) my brain works so weird. So when I saw one, two, four, I was like, one times two is four and two times two is, no. One times two is not four. (laughs) One times two is two and two times two is four. One, two, four. Yes. Did your your brain do that? Uh, I knew it was funny because when you said the numbers, I was like, oh, those numbers all go together well. Yeah. But I didn't know how. Yeah. Well, okay. So anyway, (laughs) we'll peek inside my little brain. Uh Uh, It is episode 124 of The Mom Game. We are together in studio, but full disclosure, we're taping. Mm -hmm. Um, So this is, we're taping early. We're crazy ass travel schedules. Um, But we still want, we we know that you guys have counted on us for a show a week. And so we're here for you. Um, No, I mean, I think it's important that we keep consistency. And it's good for my OCD to... It's Make good for sure. our we have literally done a show every week for 124 Isn't that crazy? weeks. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's two plus the, years. The thing that happens with most podcasts when they start is that they just fizzle out. Yeah, you know. And so I'm I'm proud of us for our consistency. We haven't and then, fizzled. Oh, your OCD and your list mm-hmm. listing has a lot to do with it because sometimes I need that, but. But I like keeping things yeah. going too. Well, and two, we're gonna have because because we have do- tra- talked about the fact that we are traveling a lot and it's going to logistically things are difficult at times so we are going to have some fun things like you're going to have a co-host one week i'm going to have two co-hosts one week yep which i'm so excited about um my rangers broadcast partners yeah um dave raymond and cj nitkowski are going to be with me um one week in august i'm i am literally so excited about this yeah because we we have we genuinely like each other we have so much fun um, off camera and, you know, it, there's only so much you can show of that on camera, right? Mm-hmm. Or on the broadcast. because like we're tra- within the confines with, of a game. Right. And so there's only so much you can do. Mm-hmm. But we literally have so much fun together. Um, you know, we crack on each other. We just get along really well. Yeah. And so for us to be in this setting. They're coming to your turn. I know. And I'm super, super excited what about are your, it. Do you have any plans for it? Yet? None. It'll be because wheels Because I feel off. like they both have like uh, cool, interesting personalities. Well, that I maybe- mean, Dave Raymond basically like bursted the housing housing bubble years ago. You oh. need to Google that at some point. It's yeah. fucked up. It's crazy. Like he, he wrote an article that... It, just okay. Oh, Dave I Raymond. did not know that he burst in the housing, housing bubble. bubble. <laughs> well, I mean, now you know. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, they both got fun stories. They're both they're both super funny. Like yeah. they're both super witty. Um, you know, they they don't I, they're just great. I mean, I, I dig the shit out of those two guys, and so to have them both in here to where we can just kind of like have our own little show without a baseball game going on. I'm mm-hmm. super super excited yeah, about. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. And then after that, I'm gonna co-host with Gina Miller. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did confirm the date. Yes, which um, I'm sad, happy but sad about. Same. How, that's how I feel because I would have I fun with your baseball. I know, and I know I'd have fun too. with Gina. Yeah, but but it'll be fun. With the World Cup news, um, she can talk about that. And I want to talk to her about raising her daughter um, while working in the sports world, all of that. And she actually had a show over here at Vocal that she didn't 
get to keep doing because of all of the other things going on in her life. So right. I want to talk to her about that too. Um, so I think it's fun to switch it up yeah. as long as neither of us like has more fun and then wants to replace the other one. You better not have more fun. <laughs> you better not have more fun. Oh. Well, in the, will this be the first time I listen to our podcast when I'm not on it? Yeah. Yeah. This might be it. Yeah. Did you listen when I hosted with Selena? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't. Sorry, Selena. Sorry, Selena. I love you. Your voice is so pretty and you're so cute. Yeah. I didn't. That's okay. I'm I don't know you. that I, I've listened to like one podcast my entire life. Yeah. I, sorry. We love podcasts. podcasts are awesome. <laughs> Woo. Especially the mom game. Especially the mom game. I just can't hear the sound of my voice. I hear it right now in my ear and it makes me crazy. Yeah. I can't go back and listen to it again. Yeah. I know. It's weird. It's so weird. weird. I'm like, I hope no one ever busts me when I'm like listening to my own podcast, but I do it so we can make notes on everything. Well, I'm really glad you do it. Yeah. I'm thankful Someone's that you do got it. to. Someone's got to. And yeah. It ain't going to be me. Right. I know. <laughs> just I know. So, you know. So know. yeah, we're, summer programming continues. We're still here for you. Um, we're still over. Always, always accessible on our social media channels, Instagram, mm -hmm. Twitter tweets, um, mm -hmm. Facebooks, all meta, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah. At the mom game pod. So y'all can always holler at you girls there, but yeah, we're going to have a little bit of fun today with some fun hypotheticals. We're gonna have a special guest later on in the show mm -hmm. to talk about something that we've got cooking. Um, so yeah, plenty to talk about here, even though we're not going to have anything really like super timely, no sports courts, no TMG news desk, no what's on your feed. Yeah. So a little bit of a, yeah. But as a, usual, we'll try to like be in the moment on social media. If anything big breaks, we can oh, obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. deliver it to you there oh, over on, sure. on the mom game Instagram. If you need our hot sports opinions on something, is there any, do you on. have any message you want to give your future self? <laughs> Dear Emily, two weeks from now. <laughs> Do you, what kind of a question is that? <laughs> we should do it and see if it's like pertinent. We should. Like what if, what if one of us dies or something? Oh God. Well, I, I feel like you've done everything, Julie, that you could have done <laughs> to have a really good, fulfilled, happy life. So I'm you're st sending a death message to yourself. I'm, just in case I'm going to have. Okay. Well, Emily, I hope if, you enjoyed wine before you went. Like what? No. I don't like Thank this. Thank you all for coming to my funeral. <laughs> so you can blow this up. I want you all to Good. enjoy yourself today. <laughs> Have fun in my honor. Drink some wine. This don't is, be too sad. This is not I've okay. thought about it. What I would say. You, you have not thought, thought, about thought about what about you would that? say in your funeral? Like what you would say if you could talk to people. Like, would you... I don't After know, death? Like, what would you want your funeral to be like? Would you want people to be really, really, really sad? Or would you want people to... No. You know? No, I wouldn't want them to be sad. I wouldn't either. But they're going to be... I think, it, be. too, it, have, it depends on what time in your life you die, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, if you die when you're if 80... You die in the if we die in the next two weeks, it would be really sad. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so it's okay. You're allowed to be sad, because this wasn't supposed to happen. Right. I hope you're all fucking miserable. <laughs> I don't want to be dead. Okay. Do you, is how long until Mike can date somebody? Oh God. <laughs> Where, what are we doing? We, okay. Um, or never a year, a year. And he needs to be like very sad for a while. Yeah. A year. Same with you, Kelly. <laughs> Just fake it. <laughs> we can't even if you're not to our husbands like we're dead. We, now I'm going to be so paranoid waiting until like, Two weeks from now, <laughs> until the show airs, you and I still have a pulse. <laughs> well, then we'll give each other a cheers when it airs and be like, we made it. Heck yeah. Right. But then what if we don't? Do we give Ted permission to air the show if one of us dies? Yes. Okay, Ted. Our there you spirit go. will live on. Oh, my God. This is going to be one of those freaky things. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to go <laughs> viral. And people are going to be like, they predicted their death two weeks before. Well... I don't think there's a I'm way that we would die out. together. No, but one of us. Yeah. I hope it's you. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> like, I, like you're saying you hope it's not, you hope it's not me. Come on. You can't say I that. I would never say I hope it's you. <laughs> you and like a freaking creepy ass whisper 
I I say the things you're thinking. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm younger than you. That's sweat. rude. I deserve to at least live right. till 40. What are you, 44? Uh yeah. Oh. And by the time you're so <laughs> You're going to I'm going to have another birthday really soon. Clearly we um. can't handle shooting in advance. <laughs> No, it's now Emily's forty-five. No, yeah, now I'm forty-five. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Wait, when does it end? Emily just had a birthday. <laughs> Are you Wait, pregnant? Am I, am I dead? <laughs> <sighs> okay, we uh, escalated. We can't really do quickly. this. No, we shouldn't think. Well, I wish <laughs> we should do. I'm like sweating. Thinking about a viral video about us doing this, oh. and they knew it was well, coming, hope, a premonition. <laughs> like, I hope you at least make it to 45 before you <laughs> go. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, and I okay. hope you don't die. Okay. I hope you don't die either, but if it's between me and you, I'm going with me. I don't know why this is so shocking to okay, you. Okay, well, now that you've said that, <laughs> when I die... Oh, okay. I feel like you ne- you're gonna have to bear some of the burden I of will, my children. I, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting your kids. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> no. Okay. But That's you okay. kind of said that they're, <laughs> they're really sweet. They, I mean, <laughs> oh yes, they are. They're wonderful. And just tell Kelly to wait. Like, okay. At least a year. My goodness. Okay. At least a year. Yeah. Okay. And she can't be hotter than me. No. She can't have inner thighs that don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> they need to touch. She needs the, the thunder thighs. <laughs> Requirements for your future wife. Thunder thighs. <sighs> um, she can't be. She's not going to be as funny as you. No yoga instructors. No. Okay. That's good. Um, yeah, because they can do stuff. Yeah. Instructors. <laughs> They can do stuff we they can do stuff we can't do. He's gonna be like, hell yes! <laughs> <laughs> Life is good okay. now. Uh, <laughs> we should got rid of that <clears throat> fruit. <laughs> Thunder thighs. <laughs> Thunder thighs fruit. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like we need to. Is this brought to you by anybody <laughs> or <laughs> <laughs> who wants to sponsor? This, this death talk <laughs> is brought to you by Bottle Rover. <laughs> Oh. What is wrong with it? A lot. A, a lot. lot of and things. And you see, like, it looks like we've had a lot of wine and we, we haven't. This is our first glass. We've, we've had, I've had probably four sips. She's had two. I've had like one. Yeah. Oh. But I just couldn't believe you said that about I, me. I couldn't either. Um, I mean, yes, I could. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> okay. Assume, okay. Death talk. Hypo- hypothetical. De- wait, but death talk, we got to. Br- I know. I'm, I, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Death hypothetical. Talk. Okay. Imagine that you run out of wine. <laughs> Am I still alive? And you're alive. Okay. <clears throat> and you really need that wine because you are, in fact, alive. <laughs> you're just rubbing it in because you're dead and I'm alive. <laughs> I'm dead. Bottle Rover. Yes. Is going to bring it to you. If you die, they can bring it to your family. <laughs> they can bring it to your funeral. <laughs> they can bring it wherever it's, <laughs> wherever it's needed. Oh, my Lord. Um, save, <laughs> save time and gas. Uh, Stop thinking about how I don't care about time and gas because I'm dead. Okay, if you're still alive. Save your tr- your family and your trust fund, time and gas. Um, getting your, dr- your drinks delivered to you free with Bottle River. And we love you, Bottle River. And they understand us. They do. They get us. They get That's us. That's what's so brilliant about all of our sponsors <laughs> is they get us. They get us. Get, and you know what? Can I just pause to say how thankful we are that people want to so, be a part of this <laughs> thing right here? I don't know this, what this is. All of it. But yeah, we they they get us. They, they get, get us. us. Bottle Rover gets us. Bottle Rover gets you need us. Booze, get the Bottle Rover app. Don't use those other apps. No. <clears throat> use this one. It's local. You know that they're cool people because yes. they're our friends here on the mom game. You download the app. You pick something out. If you spend fifty dollars or more, delivery is free, which is huge. Um, and then the thing that you ordered, the liquor, the booze, the wine, whatever it is, it comes from a local liquor store. So you're still supporting local and it gets delivered to your front porch in a matter of hours. Um, 
and you can also pre-order if you know that you're going to need a bunch of booze, like maybe today, because I'm going to think about my impending death. <laughs> I'm going to order <laughs> extra booze. Uh, Bottle Rover, they can help you with all of your summer drinking, celebrating, imbibing needs. Yeah. Uh, waking, like wake if we have a wake for you. Oh, yes. They, Something like that. I'm sure. Or me, whoever goes first in the next two weeks, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, also to... I hope it's you. <laughs> All right. While we're at it, um, <laughs> I hope it's you. While we're at it, another sponsor that really gets us is Early Bird CBD yeah. gummies. They've been amazing. I'd never really. Did you have one today? I did, I did not. <laughs> I'm gonna need one after this, though. That is for sure. Because now my brain's gonna be like, <laughs> when am I gonna die? Like I'm gonna be avoiding like any sort of risky situation. Yeah. Um, You're gonna take the stairs and stay the, the elevator. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so I'll get in a helicopter. I'm going to, okay. No helicopters. Uh, but our friends at early bird CBD have, uh, opened our eyes to the beauty of CBD with just a touch of THC, not too much to make y'all cray, but just enough to make you chill, give you a little buzz, make you a little happy, um, deal with death <laughs> more easily. Um, or life. Yeah. Life is hard too. Or life, yes. So we are thankful again for our partners um, like Early Bird CBD for being a part of this shit show <clears throat> we call the bomb game. And lucky for you, if you have not tried them, just go to earlybirdcbd.com slash TMG. <laughs> that will automatically you get automatically get you 20% off your first order. I promise you will love them. They are awesome. Start with one, then maybe ease into two mm -hmm. if you like the one. Um, I may go two if I'm going two after work tonight. So yeah, gonna you're going to need, I'm gonna need you're it. You're going to need um, two. I'm going to need it. So Not yeah, tonight. thanks to our crazy, crazy sponsors for loving us. Yes. In spite of us. Yes, we will show you how to get your gummies. We will show you how to get your booze. <laughs> and we will talk about death picking here up, on the mom game. Picking up on a theme here. <laughs> Uh, okay, so one of the fun things that we did a couple of weeks ago when Style Duplicated took over our Instagram and we took over their Instagram mm -hmm. and their content on our Instagram feed was really cool. Our content on their Instagram feed was... <laughs> it was us. It was us. It was... It was not eh, cute and polished and perfect. Definitely not polished. It was a bit of an S show, but we had fun. Um, we had fun. I think we we made new friends on their page, and I think they made new friends on our page, and that's yeah. a good thing. You know I what was it was? You know what I was wondering? What? I was wondering if, like, you know, because we have, I feel like we have a bunch of dude followers. Yeah. They if all wanted they, to date them, her page, because she's single. That's what I mean. Yeah. I want, we have to follow, I'm going to have to follow up with her and see if, like, anybody slid in her DMs, too. Yeah. Oh, I bet. I saw they were getting lots of new followers. Uh-huh. And we did, too. <laughs> Those girls are awesome. They're fun. Mm. She was making me laugh. Um, but one of the things, if we want to talk about it, oh, yeah, one yeah. of the things that Let's Paige go. did on our Instagram, because she's really good at the tricks of the trade and all that well like getting did, people engaged getting people engaged like, i feel yeah. like that's what we we, we tried but no one <laughs> i know i was like anybody want to tell me like, their dirty little <laughs> secrets and there was like crickets i was like ask <laughs> us anything nothing not one nothing. not one person wanted to know shit about us <laughs> not one person wanted to tell us their secrets i was like they were probably wow. like who are these so, people oh i'm sure why would like, i want to ask you anything i just met you and why Instagram. would i want to tell you my fucking secrets <laughs> i don't know but maybe if we try those two things with our people i think we get a better listen, response because we've never done that we should try the secrets thing. imitation is the sincerest form of flattery yes yeah so we we'll can just copy steal shit yeah. yeah we can steal shit okay but one of the things that Paige did <clears throat> What on our Instagram account, so if you follow us, you probably saw it, but she posted, you can, I don't know if you can see, there's a split screen of both of our, I know, headshots. I know, but look, in, okay, to be super vain and whatever, look how you're like, you don't have any wrinkles. Well, this was a long time ago. Well, but still, it's it, a beautiful it picture a of you. It was a, well, you still don't have wrinkles. It's, it's a beautiful picture of you. And and I, all I could do is, and this is, we have to stop doing this. Stop being so I critical. I, that's why I hate looking at, you know this. Yeah. I don't look at pictures of me. We'll take a picture and you're like, you want to look at it? I'm like, I don't want to look at it. And then you'll post it. And I'll be like, why the fuck did you post that? It's ugly of me. But I don't, I And hate, I'll be like, I, I think it's great of you. Right. We and need I to hate, look at ourselves right. like other people. Agreed. <clears throat> I, and this is, it, it, it's something I'll probably work on until the end of time. But it's like the same thing with like this thing right here. Yeah. Look, I have to deal with that. All the time. Yeah. The stupid monitor that shows me. 
It's super. Well, you're on camera. Well, whatever. Anyway, so yes, but I did not. That's the first thing I noticed. Of course. Was that like, oh, look at that Julie, young Julie and her wrinkle free face. And then there's me with my laugh lines and yeah. smile lines. But you know what? That just means that I've laughed a lot and smiled a lot. Mm. In if my only real life was years. like you could just find your best picture and walk but around. But you know like what, that. though? Okay, on that note, like mm-hmm. people that use these filters on Instagram, mm-hmm. I think it's gross. I know. And it's like scary for if you think about like it's your really daughter gross. starting to do that. And yeah, no one, it's really gross. Everyone feels like you got to. Yeah, I'm like out. I'm out on filters. The only thing I do to every picture I take. I use the I Paris take, filter a lot. You do. I don't. I've it's never the first one. I've never used a filter. You haven't. Never. Have you tried it? I have not. Once you see it. Yes, it's, I'm a very <laughs> I'm addictive like, oh, personality over easy. here. Afraid to go there. But you know what I do? What I do do? Um, have you ever used the edit button on the? So like, if you have a picture and you click on edit and then you click on that little wand. Mm-hmm. So what Enhance. that does. Or it just does the wand. Uh And so what it does is it makes the best lighting possible. It's not a filter. Every picture I take, I do the wand. Yeah. But other than that, I I don't do any filters. I just feel like filters are weird and icky. Yeah. And some of them are subtle and that's fine. Whatever. Just change the colors of the photo a little bit. Like, right. Oh, like on Instagram, I have done like the Clarendon or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about like on a story where it's like whatever filter and then it makes you look all real clear and great. But I'm like, the last thing I want is for somebody to see me on this and then they see me in person. They're like, like to be on dating apps and stuff nowadays. Like you could put this picture that doesn't look like you at all. Right. That's the last thing I want is for somebody. Abort. Abort. Yeah. So, I know. Anyway. So anyway. Okay. Um, so Paige did this really cool little like poll, I guess, where she asked people a question. Can about you see us. the results? Yeah, I can see the results. Oh. So the first one, we're going to just talk through the results real quick and see if we think the okay. people got it right. Because these are our people. These are our people. Who is the most likely to get lost driving in their hometown? Julie or Emily? Julie. Yes. And 75% of people agree. Well, probably because I was raised in Plainview, which is a small, small town and yeah. you were Austin. So yeah, it makes sense. but probably also because I'm an idiot when it comes well, to directions. I'm pretty bad too. You are. I'm so bad. I'm I feel like I can't go anywhere without ways. Oh, I can't. Like there's only like two places I can go. Yeah. Same. What do we used to do? I don't know. I, know? Maps. Isn't that scary? Like, like I was a 16 year old new driver that had to just figure out. Yeah. I remember driving maps. to college station for a um, football game and we had like legit a map. Like oh a, yeah, like a paper. And map. Isn't that dangerous? Everyone's like got their maps go as they're driving. Oh, it's like yeah. blocking the windshield. Well, or you would write the directions down. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, mm. and then check off each one as you. I didn't even tell you the story. What? Do you want to hear a story right now or later? No, let's hear it. So I had a meeting <clears throat> for something with Vocal, and um, I was meeting somebody in South Dallas and I had just gotten my new phone. Remember when my phone fell in the pool oh, and yeah, I had yeah. to get a new one and I had it all hooked up. Ted knows about this because he was going to the meeting too. Um, I had <clears throat> my new phone, I thought all hooked up, right? But it had been working on Wi Fi in my house. I leave my house and it wouldn't work. And I kept driving thinking I could get it going. And I was trying to navigate to a meeting where I had to be there at a certain time. It's like 930 in the morning, South Dallas, somewhere I didn't know where it was. And I kept driving, like trying to, I was like, surely this will come. It'll It'll start working. It'll kick in. And it wasn't. And it didn't. So I'm just driving like aimlessly. The phone wouldn't work. The text wouldn't work. My map wouldn't work. Nothing would work. But I'm trying to be on time to this meeting. Right. And I was like in this, I felt like just so lost in the world. I was like, what do I yeah. do? So I kept and remember driving. when you would stop and a- at a gas station and I ask did. for directions. <gasps> I did. You did. I did. Cause I knew it was South Dallas. So I was like, I'm going South. <laughs> right. And then I, I drove by like all the <clears throat> establishments that I could have pulled into for Wi-Fi, like Starbucks thinking I'd still figure it out like a dumbass. And I didn't want to be late to this meeting that I didn't know where I was going to. Right. And then finally I got past all of that and I got into like a little bit sketchier part of town and then all of a sudden was like I don't know where I'm going I've got to pull over and so I pulled over into a 7-Eleven and I asked the lady at the 7-Eleven I thought they would have wi-fi they didn't I was like hey do you know where can you help me find something she was like yeah give me the address she pulled it up on her ways yeah on her phone I took a picture of it and then I drove the rest of the way with the directions from the gas station ladies old ways. school great I mean and I was like 20 minutes late yeah. obviously old school I got there. didn't have my phone to call him to tell him I was there. It's like you don't... I had to use like a rent-a-cop's cell phone. So your phone wasn't working <laughs> Nothing at was all. working. 
Oh, dear. I had an like my my an outing with nothing. Yeah, that's like a that's a super panicked feeling, and that shows yes. goes to show you how reliant we yes, are. It's so sad because I was like about to start crying. I was like, I don't even know uh, how I would get home. Or like, I mean, I could have gotten home, but I, I made it, and the meeting I think went okay. But anyway, uh, who is the most likely to drive a minivan? Oh, you. Is that everyone just says that because I have little kids? Probably. I'm not a minivan person. No, neither am I. I'm not going to get a minivan. Uh, but 67% of people agreed with you. Okay. So <clears throat> I guess one of us would have to in this scenario. Who is the most likely to fall down the stairs? Now, this was a really tight race. Well, I think it's me because I actually did. It happened Valentine's Day like 20, like five or six years ago. Yeah? And my, at your house? I, at my house. And I was wearing socks on the stairs. Oh. You never fucking wear socks on the stairs. Yeah. And we had put the kids to bed. And it was Valentine's Day. Mike cooked dinner. I remember he cooked shrimp with pasta and I was so excited and I thought that I had ruptured a kidney. Oh no. Like it hurt so oh. bad. Giant bruise. Oh, no. So I was like, never wear. And I had not, I had not Did been you drinking. Like, like go down all the stairs. Or? So I just like hit. So I was toward like midway through the, so there's two sections in our current house. And so it was the bottom section mm -hmm. and my foot just slipped out from under me and just went Oh, bang ow. on the back. I mean, it hurt so oh, incredibly bad. That's yeah. not fun. So when I it actually hurts. Say, and it's, I would, and you yeah, can't laugh. yeah, I would say, oh, it was all, oh, coughing. Don't oh, even oh. do not even. So I would say me only because I have actually done it. Well, I've done it too. Um, I got 51% of the votes. So oh, you're winning was all close, the contests. So. Uh, not this next one. Who is the most likely to, oh, wait. Who is the most likely to tell a joke or make a funny comment that gets them in trouble? Oh, that's definitely me. You won that one. Yeah. 76. Because no yeah. one's like going to tell me I'm in trouble. I don't like have a, you have a company. Right. But also too, you're a little more safe than I am. I feel like. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I'm well, a little more squ scorched probably. earth over yeah, here. You, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, who is the most likely to burn dinner? This is a good one. This, we were neck and neck. Can, I was that about about us. <laughs> Can we do both? <laughs> Uh, I was 51%, so I won in the end. No way! You were 49%. I think you're a way more capable cook than I am. No, I'm not. Oh, no, I feel like it. Really? I see the shit you make sometimes. I make it with the... I can do those box dinners. I can follow directions. I, I can't. Really? Remember TV dinners? Yeah. I saw something on those today, or the, this week, and I was like... Man, those are kind of awesome. Yeah, oh, but just like the warm-up? But can you imagine how like, even... disgusting... I yeah. used to do the shit out of lean cuisine too. Yeah. Yeah. Poking the holes in the plastic. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll quickly run through these. Cause I bet you our friend is here. Okay. Um, who is the most likely to get in an argument with a stranger? Oh, definitely me. <laughs> 85%. 85. <laughs> <laughs> that one was a landslide. <laughs> that one was no question. No off. brainer. <laughs> I don't think I have, I haven't gotten an argument with a stranger in a really long time. Uh oh, yesterday for me oh, oh goodness okay. um who do you think has the best dance moves at parties uh me i'm proud of this one i won you won 65 percent think it's me oh well clearly i'm gonna need to show some moves <laughs> you can show some moves at yeah. my funeral well, party yeah uh and that's it so that's that was it. fun okay. yeah well i'm proud I feel like the people know us pretty well they do except for the dance moves thing. yeah except for the dance moves come on now um, okay, uh, special guests coming our way, brought to us by our friends, and especially our friend Randy. Yes, at our MSU. friend Randy at MSU uh, Flower Mound. So I feel like this is really topical right now for a lot of people, whether you're a mom or a dad, and you're just thinking you might need a change of course. We just want you to know that if at all you're thinking about changing directions, there's one place you need to go, and they can help you out. You just heard us mention our friend Randy. If you give him a call, say that the mom game sent you. He will even give you some sort of scholarship. I think he and I talked about uh, for a discount on your schooling. But you can do their online school from home. Super easy. Fit it into your life as you work towards your new life. Um, I hear a lot of, about a lot of people going back and getting their master's, doing this, doing all that. I, I feel like it's not even that hard. Just call Randy. Talk to him about your options. Um, if They can help you with a lot of different things, really tons of different things. One of the things, though, that they focus on really well is nursing, radiologic sciences, respiratory care. Um, they are actually the number two best nursing school in the state. So that is a good job. That's a good career you can take anywhere. 
anytime. So give our friend Randy a call at MSU Flower Mound. And um, the mom minute that came out a week or two ago is talking all about it. So you can go find that, figure out where to click, call Randy, tell him we sent you and get your life back on track and where you want it to be with MSU Flower Mound. And now it's time for our special guest. All right, and we are back, and I have upgraded my co-host situation. We had to lose Emily Jones to go to Rangers duties, but look who I have. We have Mike Reiner on set with us. Mike, welcome to the mom game. Well, thank you for having me, but this is an upgrade? Yeah, because did you hear earlier on in this show, Emily and I, because we had to shoot this show ahead of time, Mm -hmm. started talking about death. And what, could, and what could happen in the two weeks leading from when we shot to when the show aired. And Emily, somewhere in between, told me that if one of us had to die, she hoped it was me. So, yes, I have upgraded my co-host because I don't think you would say that. No, no, I wouldn't say anything like that. But if one of you had to die, do you hope it's her? Um, I would hope it's me. That's if, very, very... I would. Unselfish. I would never tell somebody that I hoped they died instead of me. I mean, I don't know. I guess if we have to be very, very real and honest with our feelings, I don't know. I've d- I don't know. I don't want Emily to die. No, nobody wants anybody to die. I know. But everybody does. I know. Everybody dies. So we came, we found... Listen to that. I just made the kind of statement that I'm known for. <laughs> Nobody wants anybody to die, but everybody does. It's just like driving cars. Yeah, it is. And whatnot. Right. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Nobody wants anybody to die, but everybody does. And I feel like when somebody dies, it's like that feeling. It's like, damn it, this sucks, but it has to happen. So I don't know. It's hard. It. it we talked about the circumstances. If, it, if you're young, like if it happened to Emily or, and I, or I in the next two weeks, it would be sad. It would right? be sad any time. It would be and then awful how long, anytime. And then how long do our husbands have before they can move on? Like we had the whole. Oh, well, now that's we another, ran the gamut on matter. all of the hypotheticals. How long are you giving Kelly? <laughs> At least a year, and I want tears. I want a lot of tears. Mild depression. I guarantee, you, without knowing him any better than I do, which mm-hmm. is really not all that well, but. I do think I've seen enough of him and know him well enough to know that you would get both of those you things. You think so? Yeah, I do. I do. I hope. I mean, and I feel like part of it would be because he misses me and part of it would be because he has to single parent. <laughs> and that uh, shit's hard. Th- yeah, th- there may be a little bit of uh, division of tear labor there, if you will. Yeah, yeah. But still, he, he, I'm sure he would. he would not know what to do. I mean, he would be flattened by it. I know. I hope it doesn't happen. I, don't, I hope it doesn't happen for any of us yeah, for I a do really too. long time. I do, too. Right? That sounds yeah. terrible. Besides, you guys are having too much fun with a mom game. We're having so much fun. I know. It's so funny because we'll start off on a show, and then all of a sudden we're cry laughing, and we don't even know how it happened. It's like five minutes, and we're just rolling around in our own tears you guys do that better than anybody it's weird i know i know well hopefully when people listen they can join in on the fun and it'll be a nice little release from whatever it is in their day-to-day life right right so what have you been up to what have i been up to yeah you got a haircut yeah i got a nice haircut today Mm -hmm. haircut 100 up here did you just feel like it was time um i don't know i'm kind of on a a rotation i try to stay a little bit organized in a couple of facets of life Uh uh-huh and I feel like if I don't get one every six weeks, then people are going to think I'm a homeless bum. Things are going downhill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I try to keep myself squared away at least on that front. Okay. Do you book ahead? So like when you got this one, did you book six weeks out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I already know when my next one's going to be. It's are already you, on the calendar. Are you excited? <laughs> uh, no, not really. But at least I've got, I don't have to worry about it. Put it that way. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> so besides the haircut, everything's good. You yeah, playing yeah, some er- shows. Yeah, we are playing some shows. Um, we're about to hit a little bit of a um, hiatus right now, but in the last couple of months or so, they've been really good. Okay, good. But it always looks know, like it, so it, much it, fun. It, 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 it kind of comes and goes, you know. It's like anything else. It's not like it used to be for sure. Yeah. When we stayed booked pretty steadily throughout the year, but you know, a lot of stuff's changed out there, and shit just is not the way it once was. And yeah. you know, we got to adjust. You still have groupies. 
Do I still have groupies? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, uh, that's a yes. Uh, that's a yes. I've had but, but not so. like they're, they're not like they used to be. Mm. You know, now they've all got grandkids. <laughs> 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 it's okay though. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're probably not like you used to be, too. No, no. I'm not uh, like, we, yeah. none of us are like we For used sure. to be, right? So it's all, it, it all works out. Time marches on. Time marches on. Time waits for no one. Exactly. And it won't wait for me. Exactly. We may coin the words of Mick Jagger. I'll bet that's never been done before on the mom it, game, it has hasn't, it? It hasn't. All right. It hasn't. Sometimes grandmas can be hot, right? Yeah, not There's out of the question wrong with at a all. hot grandma. No. Just because you had a kid that had a kid doesn't make you less hot. No. It's not, grandmas aren't of, the way they used to be. Right. <laughs> exactly. There's another all-encompassing as, statement. As, as you, I'm full of them today. I'm going to have to write these things down <laughs> and tell the, the youth of the world. <laughs> <laughs> to spread your knowledge to the, to the young the young people That's around That's why I'm us. here. That's why yeah, I'm here, to keep it, the, to let the young know what's ahead for them. Exactly, exactly. Well, good. Well, we've been, we've been missing you. We had you on the mom game a long time ago, and then I came on your show. I know. I was thinking show. you weren't ever going to have me anymore. I know. I came on your show. Emily came on your show, but mm-hmm. all three of us haven't all sat together, and so we're still going to have to do that. Yeah, we are still going to have to do that. I know you and Emily want to talk some Rangers. We do. Because... For sure. But I like you, too. Well, thank you. I like you back. I like you back. Um, but no, speaking of, we like each other, and mm-hmm. we like doing fun new things, mm-hmm. and we like vocal, and we have a new fun thing that has recently launched, because this isn't going to air till January, or January, July 25th, something like that. So, the Dub Network. The Dub Network. Let's talk about the Dub Network. Everybody needs to get a look at the Dub Network. Now, this was the concept of you and Emily. Kind of. Yeah, and Tom. So, yeah, and Tom. And Tom Ferovid. Yeah. Um, Did I say that right? I always say... I never know how to say it. <laughs> I always say... It's a very I think it's fire lesson. oven. Fire oven? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tom, fire oven. <laughs> Of Ed, uh, it's a D at the end. <laughs> Anyways, whatever it is. So he has been around the block with uh, the Rangers and the Stars in the sales world. And so the mom game <clears throat> has been going really well. Emily and I are doing our own sales. But this kind of developed when I reached out to Tom. We bumped into each other at an event. And we went and had uh, margaritas with Emily. And and. He's a sales guy. Like he knows yes. he's got the the connections, the network, all of that. And we were talking, we were like, if we want to sell something, let's make it bigger. Yeah. Let's bring in more shows. Let's make it, you know, not just this or that. Let's make it a package deal. And so that's how the dub network was born. And now it's launched in the very first episode you got to host. But um our four shows on the dub network are with four former um, athletes here in town. So we have one from each sport. We have from the NHL, Craig Ludwig. We have Kevin Minch from MLB. He's our baseball guy. We have Derek Harper from the NBA. And who am I missing? Nate. Nate. And Isaiah. Nate and Isaiah from the NFL. Yes, Nate so Newton course, and Isaiah stand back. Yeah. So Nate, you know, has won a bunch of Super Bowls. He's he's played with Emmett and Troy um, and Michael, and he's great. He's He's got an awesome personality that I'm so excited for people to get to know a little bit more. But then he brought along Isaiah Stanback, who um, I knew back when I worked for the Cowboys. And he's just like sharp. He's a former quarterback turned wide receiver in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's got he's got the it factor, if you will, like when it comes to broadcasting and when it just comes to being a person like he's very charismatic and people are drawn to him so those two are really good together so i'm excited i'm excited for all four of these new shows and then like i said the very first one you got to host yes (laughs) what did you think uh, it was incredible yeah it was just incredible what i really wish is that we would have somehow been able to mic up the Mm pre-show of that Mm-hmm. We had all four of these guys, and they're all four outgoing, really gregarious, really fun guys. They got tons and tons of stories. 
And like we were waiting around to get in the room and everything. And I was just kind of standing by watching things come down. And the four of those guys just started riffing. Yeah. And the next thing I knew, I'm just standing there watching all this going, holy shit, this is incredible. I mean, the way these guys are, the way they are together, the the chemistry they seem to be effortlessly generating here, yeah. it's just incredible. Yeah. I got that feeling, too, because I, I don't know what it's like to be a former professional athlete walking around town. I don't know what that's like, but they do. And when they're around each other, you can almost feel the sense of like, okay, this guy gets it. Yeah. And all of these guys get it. Yes, they are, they, they're, they're talking to each other on a level that the hoi polloi like us can't possibly understand. Right, exactly. But they get it totally. I know. And I mean, so I, I was editing some things from that show and I'm like, can we say this stuff? You I know, know, like I some know. of the stuff they're saying, it's like there's just this been like this forbidden like <clears throat> conversation about professional sports, right? You know the guys like do certain things when they're on the road, mm -hmm. but you don't really talk about it, or they definitely don't talk about it with the media. But when you take the media out of it and you just have all these guys sitting in a room, it's like they, they couldn't wait to tell their stories. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff they talk about. That's the stuff they talk about. And so it's really cool to kind of pull back the curtain on it all and say, just be you. Just talk about your stories. What do you remember? Yeah, I remember, you know, this game or that game or this at bat or whatever. I remember the Stanley Cup, but I also remember that one night in yeah, Orlando. Right, 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 right. And so they just, it was like they felt like they were just free to tell all these stories. And that's what I'm so excited about. Because I think people want to hear that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think more people than some do too. Stuff. Now, the pre show that day was really, really astounding. And I thought, okay, they're going to come in here. We're going to turn on the mics and all that's going to go away. And I don't know, maybe some of the, um, shall we say, subject matter mm -hmm. did. But the chemistry and the way the stories were told did not. Right. And getting these four guys together is an extraordinary thing. It's really Just cool. an extraordinary thing. And <laughs> what's going to happen here, the way I understand it, and you tell me if um, yeah. I'm wandering out of, out into uh, beyond my depth here, but they are all going to do their own podcast, and they will mm -hmm. be able to bring in their own guests, mm -hmm. guys they know, guys on the team back in the day that they were particularly tied with or mm -hmm. whoever they want. Yeah. It's going to be their podcast. That's just exactly like the right. mom games, yours, just like your dark companions, mine. Yep. Theirs are going to be theirs. That's exactly right. They'll each have their own show and then we'll do the group show probably once a month, something like that, you know, when schedule is allow. Um, but yeah. And so it'll be a really good opportunity for advertisers, I think, to come in and be a part of it in, not only are you sponsoring the show, but like you've got, you know, Nate Newton as one of your guys now, and like as one of your representatives to talk about whatever it is. So I'm super excited for it. I feel like there's nothing like this out there, you know? Um, it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be good. And, and, and these guys, I'm happy for them too, because a lot of them like Luddy, you know, he's had a broadcasting career. Um, and a lot of them have, Nate still does and Isaiah, they still work over at Cowboys and they do mm -hmm. like Dallas Cowboys shows and that kind of thing. Um, Derek Harper, he works for the Mavs, but a lot of times those jobs, like with a team or with a network, with a network are hard to come by. And so you might have somebody that has a big name and still has a lot to say, but they don't know where to go with it. Yeah. And so this is giving them that space. Right. Um, and that's what we're trying to do here with the dub network. And we're excited for it to be affiliated with the mom game and your dark companion. And Mike's going to pop on with those guys. Emily or I might pop on with those guys. They will pop on with each other. It's that kind of team vibe that I know you're familiar with. Oh yes, I am familiar with it. It's going to be awesome. It yeah. really is. This is going to be something people are going to want to take a look at. And I think if they look at it once, they will come back. Yeah. They will come back for more. Yep, because I think that unfiltered part is probably the biggest thing that will draw people back. Yes. So it should be fun. And your show's going well, too? Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. It's time for another episode. We're going to get that up and running here mm -hmm. just as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Had one yesterday, but that kind of fell apart. So now we've kind of got to you gotta re gotta re reconnoiter and re-rack yeah. a little bit. But You will. But there will be uh, another Your Dark Companion coming out here very quickly. Okay, very good. Well, Mike, I'm so glad you popped on with us and you made the trek up here to vocal to fill in for Emily. And I did, in fact, upgrade. 
<laughs> I, don't I know did, about in that. fact, upgrade my co host. I don't think so. I would beg to differ. She's with pretty that. awesome, too. She's pretty awesome. Okay. I love that girl. I always have. I know. She's great. It's a fun thing we all have going, and I'm so glad we've all found ourselves working together. Isn't it awesome? It's awesome. It is awesome. It's We're fun. awesome. Yes. You're awesome. <laughs> We're awesome. You're awesome. Put it on Mike Reiner's shirt, his list of famous quotes. <laughs> We're right. awesome. You're awesome. And I'm going to make a document of all the other ones you've said today because you came in hot. I did come in hot. <laughs> With Reinerism. Yes, I, I should have told you I'm coming in hot today. <laughs> you came in hot. And Emily and I always are, too. So it's a good fit. It's a good fit. Okay, so, Mike, you know how we close every show? Um, Double peace sign. Okay. Mom game out. Okay. You ready? Um, are you going to give me a count here? Sure. Okay. Now, if I don't do it right, we can do it again. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Mom came out. You didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, I got. Okay. All right. Let's try it Ready? again. Ready? Say, Mom came out. Okay. Double piece sign. Ready? One, two, three. Mom, Mom game, game out. out. <laughs> Love it.